Hey everybody, I'm Coach Dan, this is Coach Nikki, and if you believe you don't have equipment at home, you do. Yes, a dish towel, a dirty dish towel that is. Yeah. My wife doesn't want me it's to show these. It's a rag. <laughs> We're going to get a great 30 minute slider workout today. All you need is a dish towel and a yoga mat or a towel to lay down on. We're going to have some slider circuits and some hit circuits. So let's get ready. Let's do it. All right, team, let's start it up with some side bends. So I just want you to twist side to side, bringing one hand up overhead and also getting a stretch down your leg. So we're coming to the toe on the opposite side. You can see a nice stretch from the hand all the way down to your toe. Reach up and then pull in a little bit. Let's pull in some positivity, some good energy. I know it's tough out there for various reasons, but let's not let it be tough for the next 30 minutes. Well, it'll be tough in one way. Uh, but it's going to be enjoyable. Good. Now we're going to go for some torso twists. So just twisting side to side now in the trunk. Yep, wringing out any tension that we're bringing into a workout. I know I say that a lot, but we got to be reminded of it. We don't need extra tension in the body at this moment. This is our warm up. We're bringing some energy, some blood, some chemical reactions are happening. We're starting to get energized. And we're going to have a fun slider workout. Good. Three, Woo. two, one, let's do some air squats. So set your form, feet about hip width apart, a little bit wider, toes pointed out, sit back and down, and then drive the hips forward, squeeze the glutes to come up. Good. Generating all kinds of good energy here, bringing it into our lower body from the ground up. Feel strong in your feet, your ankles and knees will follow. Good, 10 seconds here. Yes, sit back, drive the hips forward, and we're in our strong vertical plank position at the top. Three, two, one. Good, let's step it back. We're gonna step forward, big step on the right, and then we're gonna twist toward, towards that front leg. So lunging now. I know lunges are hard. Let's think about squeezing the glute in the back to come up out of that lunge. And if you need to, step first, and then lunge down and twist, good. So for our workout today, we got the sliders. Why are we using sliders? There's a couple good reasons. Number one, they take out the impact on the joints because you're actually sliding and you're moving the joint through its full range of motion. Nice. Let's get some A steps here. So we're bringing our elbow to our knee. Little hop at the top, kind of like a skip. Good. 20 seconds. So the sliders, we get to move a joint through its full range of motion and there's less impact on the joints as in traditional resistance work. Good. 10 seconds. And of course, it's an easy piece of equipment, right? Everybody's got a little towel somewhere, right? Two, one little boxer shuffle. All right, team, so what we're gonna do today, we have lower body and upper body focused slider circuits. In between those, though, we're gonna do some hit circuits. So that's where we're really gonna get the heart rate up. We're gonna come off the sliders, and we're gonna have fun. Yeah. You feeling good? I'm feeling good. All right, now 10 seconds. Let's sprint into our first slider set. We're going to be doing lower body. Make sure you got your towel on the side. I'm going to take you through the moves, and then we'll do them together. Yes. Boxer shuffle, Nikki. All right. Yes. All right. Okay, so look. On the right side, I'm going to put this on my leg. First one, we got a backward stepping lunge. That's the first move. Then we're going to kind of hinge low, and we're going to pull the slider in just like that. Okay? Next move. We're gonna stay low and we're sliding out. Okay, bringing the towel out to the side. Curtsy lunge is up next, full range of motion. And then we're gonna pulse to finish. Seems like a lot, don't worry, we're gonna take you there together. Actually, Nikki, face this way so we got a little bit more room. All so right. first up is the backward stepping lunge. And then you bring it all the way in. Maybe I was wrong. Let's go this opposite way, 30 seconds here. <laughs> Step it back He's and then stand up. Long. I know, you know, when you work out in your basement apartment, you really got to figure out the space. And sometimes it takes a couple of seconds to do that. Good. So big step back, slide back, and then you stand up nice and strong, just like we did in those front lunges. Good. So now stay low, and you're going to pull the leg in. So you're slightly hinged forward. The weight is on that front toe, and you're pulling the slider in. Good. You should feel this in your glutes and in yeah. your quad and the oh, yeah. standing leg. We're spending time here. We're not going to come off until we're done with this circuit. Good, 10 seconds to go. Pull it in, nice and strong. We're going to wipes out to the side, and we're cleaning our nice tile floor. Two and one, good, stay low. 
and we're wiping out to the side. Start small, little small little circles. You should really feel it burning on that standing quad. Don't worry, we're gonna get there together. You've got 20 seconds. Think about a nice long neck. I just had to correct myself because I felt myself hunching. You know, I've got, got my technique going. I'm at my computer and phone all day. 10 seconds here. Stay low. Keep wiping. We're going to get to stand up soon. Five seconds. We're going into a curtsy lunge. Four, three, two, one. Send that leg back and then stand up. Oh, there we go. Back again. Yes, that little reprieve at the top where we get to uh, let the blood and energy flow back into the muscle. Good. Yeah. 15 seconds. We're going to finish this soon with a little pulse in the back, a little curtsy lunge pulse. And then we're finished on the right. Good job. 10 seconds to go. Come on. I'm warm. Yes. You're warm already? I know. I'm starting yeah. to sweat. Three seconds. Two. One. Let's pulse it out to finish. Curtsy lunge pulse. Check your front knee, okay? We want to make sure that's relatively straight, pointed over the toe. I have to adjust myself here. I'm a little too far back. We don't want it caving in or, well, extending out. And find your balance as you drive that back knee down. Maybe you got your partner you can balance on. Don't touch me. 10 seconds to go. Knock me over. Pull slow. We're going to get to come off this in eight seconds. Seven. Come on. All the way down. Five, four, three, two, one. Great job. Wow. Shake that off. Oh yep. my God. Screaming. Let's All do right. some hit. Right? Yes. Put your rag to the side. We're going to do an inchworm with a push up and a squat jump. So we're walking it out to our plank position, getting that push up, walking it back in, and then we've got a big squat jump. Let's do it. Let's do it together. We got 40 seconds here. Moderate your pace, Woo. but really explode away from the floor on that squat jump. Oh yeah, you're already halfway through it. Yes. You can take that push up to the knees, but try it. Try it first. Woo. We're doing it Monday. Come on. Oh, yeah. As you can see, Danny's a little bit faster than me. Take this at your own pace. Ain't no shame in it. You're still moving your body. Yes. All right. We're coming to a crab walk with a toe touch. So we're going to press our hips up to the sky. And we're going to touch our toes, slowly walking forward, as far forward as you can, and then take it all the way back. Nice. So Let's join me, Danny. All right. So the higher you keep your hips, the harder this is going to be. That's right. Woo. Make sure your fingers are, paint, are uh, facing your heels. Woo. We're getting a nice little stretch in our anterior delts here, too. If you've been doing a lot of at-home workouts, you end up shoulders over wrists a lot. This is a nice way to mix it up. Ten seconds. Got this. Woo. Nice. Let me tell you, not easy to talk and do this one. <laughs> Three, two, and one. Woo. All right, we're back on our feet. You're doing your boxer shuffle. We are gonna do. Shoulder taps, shoulders over wrists, like we just talked about. Knees are hovering just above the ground. We're in that beast position, and we're tapping our shoulders all the way through. 40 seconds. Let's 40 go right seconds. now. got this. Yes. All right, team. Hover those knees. Keep them nice and low. Take those shoulder taps at your own pace. Now, take a look at Dan, if you can. Belly button is scooped in nice and high, and those knees are not rotating. Those hips, not rotating. You got 15 seconds here. Anti-rotational movement like this, keeping that core tight. Woo. Let's go for speed. Can here we you go. Do it? Yeah, go for it. Three, two, and one. Uh, Woo. Wow, good job. Virtual high five. You know what we're doing? We're going to go back to the sliders now on the opposite leg. So we're facing forward because we know now that that's what we got to do. Again, we're starting with the backward stepping lunge. Then we have the pull. Then we have the wipe. Then the curtsy. And then the pulse. You know the moves are the same as last sequence. Let's stay strong on that leg, on the opposite leg. And let's do it here. Three seconds. Two. One. Good. Full 
extension back and then pull the leg up, stand up nice and tall. Backward stepping lunge, good. My right leg is still burning. Still burning from the last set? The last round, yeah. Woo. Don't worry, so this is the last lower body circuit. We'll do some more hit and then we're gonna move to sliders for the upper body. Good, 10 seconds here. I like this, this is my favorite one. I do this for the whole set. <laughs> Five seconds, four, pull it in, stand up strong, three, two, one. Good, stay low, hinge forward, and then pull in. Now this is where I really start to feel it. my gluteus medius right here, the side glutes, my quad muscle, yep, starting to burn. The lower you get, the more it's gonna burn there. Good, we got 15 seconds. Nice, stabilizing, finding balance in that standing leg, pressing the foot all the way down into the sneaker or floor, and holding out for five seconds. Come on, you got it, you are worth it, and you can do it. Two seconds, one, now we're gonna go out to the side. Here we go, wipes. All right, stay loaded on that leg. That means we're not coming up for air yet. And we're just doing little wipes, little floor clean here, 20 seconds. Again, nice long neck, shoulders are back. Sometimes when we work in the lower body, we forget about the upper body. But we want efficiency of movement oh, throughout the man. body and good posture, 10 seconds. Oh man, that leg is burning. That is a long time. We got five seconds to go, you can make it. You're not in this alone, we're here with you. Three, two, one, set it out, curtsy lunge, and then stand up. Oh Ooh. man, a little bit of a break there. <laughs> oh. And then stand up, good. Not really. That back leg is shooting out behind the front leg. If you're standing on a clock, this is the analogy I always use for the curtsy lunge. Your front foot is at 12. Right now, our back foot is at like seven. That's what you want to send it to. Eight seconds, check that front knee. We don't want it caving outward. Three seconds, we're gonna go into the pulse. Two and one, join me now for the pulse. This is it, last move here for 30 seconds. We're pulsing out. Five seconds already down. What can you do today? Say a little prayer. Say a little prayer for yourself, but also for everyone out there in the community. It's a tough time, but generating good energy like this is going to help everybody get through it. With this energy, we can help make people's lives better. We got five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Stand up. Oh, ah. and shake that off. Get your slider out of the way. It's yes. time for some hits. Take it to the side. We got flutter kicks. So grab your mat. Slide it out to the floor here. And we are staying up. Shoulder blades up off the mat, and we're going to scissor our legs and our arms together. Keep those shoulder blades up off the floor the whole time. Let's go together. Come on, Danny. Just like that? Yes, just nice. like that. Now, if you're ready for a little advancement here, you can squeeze up Woo! and back down. Coming up to your sits bones, Man. and then lowering back down. Yeah, you got it. 20 seconds. You're almost there. Now, if you can't keep your lower back pressed into the mat, take those legs a little bit higher. <clears throat> no shame in bringing the legs up a little higher. We would rather you do it correctly than hurt that lower back. <sighs> Trying to bring those legs all the way down. Three, two, and one. Yes. Woo! All right, we got mountain climbers. So you can set your mat to the side. We're gonna do 10 regular mountain climbers, and then four wide or giant mountain climbers, stepping or jumping that foot up all the way to your armpit. Let's do it together. 40 seconds on the clock. A little bit. 10 mountain climbers. Woo. Woo. Keeping those shoulders over wrists, abs are tight, stepping or jumping, yes. We got it, team. Got to get my mat out of the way. All right, Danny, you got 15 seconds All right, left here. We can do it. Woo! We should be burning by now. Scoop your abs in. That's Woo! how we're getting those hips. We're cooking, we're working. cooking. Last five. Get it. Three, two, three, two, four. One. <sighs> Woo! Come on up. Let's do some predator jacks. We jump out and in. Arms are strong and working with us. Obviously, this is a demo pace. You're gonna do it faster than that. <laughs> Why can't we do it at the demo pace? No, no, no. What? Look, that's gonna burn too. You're just right. staying down on those legs for right, 40 let's seconds. Do it, let's do it. Come on. Woo! Nice. So, this is a drop squat, essentially. 
We're just adding in a little bit of upper body here. Keep those arms strong. You gotta bring your claws out. Yeah. yeah. This is like the Wolverine move here. Is it? Yeah. Predator, Wolverine. Woo! Superhero time. Let's Call get there. Call it what you will. It burns. Squeeze those glutes. Abs are tight. Woo! Arms are Ready? strong. Ten seconds. Woo! You can make it. I'm saying that more to myself. Yeah, that was more for me than, than for anyone else. Three, two, one. one. Oh, God. Woo! All right, we got some upper body moves, so pay attention. These are new. We're going to come to our right side, and we're going to do a plank wipe. All right, so we're wiping out on the right side. Then we drop our knees, we reach underneath, and we pull the arm back to its starting position. Then we're going to do some archer push-ups or slider push-ups. Then we kick our feet through, and we'll do a shoulder retraction. Finally, we have a hip thruster with a shoulder push. And I'll get away from the wall so I can actually do it. But right now, let's get into our high plank position. Woo! And let's do some wipes. So set up for your plank. Your right hand is on the slider. And you're just coming out with little wipes. We'll need our mat once we come down to our knees. So speak about anti-rotational. We're going to press strong down into our big toe as we wipe out, bringing the arm away from the midline of the body. That's where it's tricky. Three seconds, two and one, good, drop to your knees. Now, you're a shoulder over wrist here on your other side. You're gonna reach underneath that arm, and now you're gonna pull, pressing strong into your towel to pull it all the way back. 20 seconds, you should feel this in your shoulder, in your arm, in your abs, especially in your obliques here, as we get a nice twist through the body, and we pull the arm out. Good, five seconds, woo, I love this one. Here we go, three, two, one, let's go to the archer push-up now. So for the archer push-up, we're bringing our arm out away as we load up that other arm and press the ground away to come up. It's a challenging move, so this is what you can do if you're not quite there yet. You just don't come out that far on your slider, right? So look at me. I'm just gonna come out an inch, and then I'm gonna hit that push-up, so slightly wider than my normal positioning. If you've got it, you can go all the way out and then press strong through the hand that's well, coming up on the ground. Well, good for you. Hey, maybe you're there with me. Let's do one more. Boom, now kick your feet through. Let's go into that shoulder retraction, right? Wanna make sure we got some room behind us. Hands strong on that towel, we're going back behind us, leading with the elbow as we get a unilateral shoulder retraction. That means retraction on one side, just like we would if we had weights in our hand and we were going like that. But we're doing it with a slider and we're doing it with some ground reaction force as we press strong into the ground. Good. Bringing tension into the body. Let's finish up with this thruster and press. So now I got enough room behind me. I'm gonna come into my hip thruster position. And as I go into that thruster, I'm gonna do a shoulder press, extending my arm all the way out. Pressing again into the slider. Whew. Nice, so a little supine shoulder press here. Good, yes. Again, when you thrust your hips up, you're getting your lower body involved, you're squeezing your glutes at the top. As you extend your arm, and you work your upper body. Good, rest, rest, rest. That was the circuit for upper body on the right. We got some hit now, and then we'll go back on the left. All right, Woo! get your slider out of the way. We have high knees and froggy squats. Knees coming all the way up to that hip crease, Ooh. and then we step it open. Uh, your elbows come between your knees, just pulsing. It's a small movement. Let's do it together. High knees. There they are. Get 10 high knees. High knees. And then we jump it out to our nice wide froggy squat. Squeezing those glutes. It's small. We're just pulsing the booty up and down two inches. That's it. Yes. Keep those knees going. Abs are tight. Just because we're doing cardio, we're doing hit, doesn't mean we can forget about being mindful. Staying active in our core. Five seconds, run it out, two, one, Woo. awesome. Yeah. We're coming back to our mat, we got legs up, and little taps from side to side, we're gonna do a jackknife too. So we come up, knees at a 90 degree angle, we reach for our heels, and then we do a jackknife, reaching long and up. Let's go, you're gonna do six, of those taps from side to side, two. and two jackknives. 
So that's pretty generous. Let me get my shirt out of the way One. here. <laughs> Wardrobe malfunction. Poor, Two. Poor costume. One. Two. I'm gonna have to take it over to the costume Four. department. Five. Six. Is that's that's us. That's One. me. <laughs> Two. This is a good one because I feel like I want to move my hips, but I really got to be strong here in the center of my body to keep my hips from rotating. It's really just the trunk that's rotating. Good. Woo. Five seconds. Woo. Boom. We're burning. Yes, we made it. Okay, one more. We have explosive runner's lunge. Get your mat out of the way. And we're driving the knee up to the chest. We're gonna stay on one side for four before we switch to the opposite side. Let's do it together. In three, two, one. Here we go, 40 seconds Ooh. on the clock. Wait a minute, I thought we just did legs. Ooh. We just did the backward stepping lunge with the sliders. We sure did. Woo! All right, switch sides. Make sure you're hitting both. Your uh, abs are scooping in as you press away from the floor. Explode. Try. Try to touch the ceiling. We have very low ceilings. <laughs> so we can't be quite as explosive as we might be. Fun fact. Woo. My wife has knocked this light off the wall. On she herself. sure has. <laughs> All right, we got three seconds. Get those last ones. One. Woo. Good job. Oh, nice job. All right. Let's oh, go back we're, into we're doing it again. our wipes. All right, our wipes, get your mat out. We're going to review real quick. So we have the high plank slider on the knees. We'll reach under and we'll pull. Then we got the archer push-ups. Then we kick our feet through. Shoulder retraction. Finally, we got the thruster with the press. Let's go into the high plank sliders now. Get yourself set up. Right, it requires a little bit of setup here. Battery's not included. Let's go for 30 seconds. All right, you're in your plank, tucking your pelvis down and in, shoulder over wrist. As you slide out, yep, you gotta correct yourself. That's what I had to do here. And you're looking down between your hands, praying, wiping that sweat away as you slide your arm out in a little circle. Starting small and then going a little bit wider. We got 10 seconds. Good. You're nice and tight in your core. Your glutes are on. Three seconds. Two and one. Come down to your knees. Okay. Woo. Get a little bit wider so you can reach your hand underneath your body and then pull. Pull it back. Good. You got about 20 seconds here. Reach this one and is pull. Deceptively hard. Yeah. It looks easy. But it's the, not. the more you press into that towel, especially when you're coming back, the, the more you'll, you'll feel it actually into your chest. Five seconds. Come on. We got this. Three, two, and one. Let's go into our slider push up. So we're either on our knees or we're on a high plank. Check me out here. I'm going to do the slider push up in high plank. We come down and then we press up. Or you're on your knees and you're going out just a little bit, hitting that push up and then coming back in. Make sure you tuck the pelvis down and in. My butt was a little too relaxed there. I wasn't getting the proper support there in my abs. All right, here we go. Boom and press the ground away. We're almost there. Five seconds, four, three, last one, two, and one. Kick your legs through. Let's do a shoulder retraction now. All right, so sitting up straight, we bring our arm behind us, leading with the elbow. Retraction between our shoulder blades. Now, if we were using the other one, you can just mimic it here. Yep, we would be squeezing our shoulder blades together, pinching a coin or a pencil. Excellent. Let's see if we can stay strong on one side. Yes. And as we work unilaterally, unilaterally, we generate bilateral force and accommodation. Good. Let's go now to finish this up with the thruster. All right, so we'll be in our thruster, hip thruster position, and then we press strong overhead. I gotta slide forward a little. Here we go. Boom. Ooh, forgot what I was doing. Up and in and down. Press strong into that, into that slider, into that dirty towel. Definitely going they're in the laundry dirty. after this. <laughs> well, now they're dirty. Now they're dirty. Good. We got five seconds. Extend the hips. Press strong into the heels, into the feet, and come up into your thruster position. Lock out the elbow at the top, Ooh. and let's go. That was it. Final hit circuit. We're almost done, team. Oh my goodness! You got Keep that towel for this? handy because you're gonna need it after this workout. Oh, is that towel? We got forward bounds. And a vertical jump. So I'll show you to the side here. Hopefully I don't slip on damn sweat. You're jumping forward 
and then you're exploding away from the floor. Let's do, Let's it. do it. Go. Whew. Right away. So we're in kind of a small space here. We're keeping it a little smaller, but that doesn't mean we're minimizing our power. Really bound forward and explode away from the floor. You use the energy from that forward bound to touch the ceiling like Dan just did. You got 15 seconds. Woo. Nice. Woo. Trying to be very careful of this light. I'm wary of it now. Five to go. Get one more. Woo. Awesome. All right, we got cross body chopped. Get to take it a little low impact for a second. Clasp your hands together. Chop across your body from low to high. We're gonna alternate side to side. Your back foot comes up off the ground, just the heel, pressing down into the toe. Let's do it together. Right to left, left to right. Scoop those abs in. Get that rotation through those obliques. Woo! Yes. Throwing something over your shoulder. Yes. Ooh. Digging that grave. What? For, for your quarantine partner. No. I mean, what? Oh, no. Quick, call the FBI. <laughs> no, it wasn't me. It was our cat. Pick Ooh, up the pace. Let's seconds. go. Come on, a little bit quicker. Boom. Yes. We got it. Only a couple moves left. Actually, only one move left after this. And then we cool down. Two. Oh. One. All yes. right. Grab your mat. We're going down to the floor. We got Russian twist and bicycle crunches. Set yourself up. Russian twist. Sitting down just on your sit bones. Feet are up off the floor. Touch the ground on either side. And then you lie back. Elbow to knee for your bicycle crunches. Let's do it. Let's do it. This is it, team. Your last 40 seconds. Oh, really rotating on those uh, Russian twists. And the same in those bicycle crunches. You get about 10 and 10. Is that good? 10 and 10? Sounds good to me. Literally any at all is great at this point. You got 15 seconds. Just keep moving. That's our motto for this week. Just keep moving. Kind of like Dory from Finding Nemo. Yes, five seconds. Three, two, and one. Sweating. I'm sweating. Totally yeah, sweating. Just smack. But that's good. It was just only a half hour. Let's cool down now together. So we're going to do an alternating quad stretch. Grab your back ankle on your left right here. I prefer the ankle because... Your back ankle? Yeah, the back ankle. What? <laughs> and pull it in, knees together, get a stretch in the quad muscle. Like I was saying, ankle opposed to foot because I think we tend to sickle our foot or pull it out in weird directions. Let's go on the opposite side here just really quick. Hold it for about 10 seconds. Find balance. Collect your breath. All right, let's go into a little calf and hamstring stretch. All right, press your heel down on your right. Sink your butt back. All right, like we're hinging over. And if you can, reach forward. Try to touch your toe, grab it, pull it back towards you. It's not where I'm at today, so that's okay. I'm just going to press strong down into my quad and go on the opposite side now. Yep, sink your butt back behind you. Press on your quad muscle or reach and breathe. Ooh. Good job, good job. All right, let's come into a high uh, uh, runner's lunge on the right. So we're in our lunge position just like we were in the forward lunge and the backward lunge today. We're going to reach up. As we tuck the pelvis down and in, so you're getting a stre stretch in your hip flexor, and then we're stretching up overhead, a little back extension. Good. And let's go to the opposite side now. Runner's lunge, bringing that knee down, front knee, moving over the toe. Tuck the pelvis, stretch back. A couple deep breaths here. Victory. This is what it feels like. Good. Now come up. We're going to come down to our mat for a little happy baby. That's how I feel right now. Oh, yeah. Just opening up our, our groin area, rocking side to side. Hands could be inside the knees, or they could be grabbing the feet and pulling them down and in, wherever you're at today. Just take a moment here, rock side to side. It feels good. Nice, then we get a little straddle stretch. Actually, I wrote on, on the cards here, saddle stretch. Hmm. Let's call that a saddle stretch today. Saddle so stretch. Getting on your saddle for your horse, throwing the saddle. Oh yeah, on. you know, because we all have our, yeah, our horse. That's how I get around yard. now. And just reaching, okay? Just a little reaching dynamically. Right to left, forward, making sure you're hinging 
and not arching in the upper back. That's what I tend to want to do. So I got to hinge from my hips and reach. Good, good, good. Let's finish this up. Last stretch here. We're going to stand up and we have a chest and back opener. So a little chest opener, a little shoulder uh, retraction here as we bring our arms up, trying to pull them up overhead. They're going to open up at some point. Good. And we can shake that off. Now bring the hands back behind. Stretch it up, stretch it up, stretch it back. Open up the chest. And then let those fall. Slowly rise up. Reach over, give yourself a pat on the back. Virtual high five and a real high five. You did it today. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for your patience. Look, we've we got a limited room here, so we got to make it work. I know you do too at home. Hope you had a fun one. We're going to have some more workouts for you coming your way. Please subscribe. And if you have any ideas or any things you want to see, just send them our way. We'll do them for you. Sure you got will. the time, right? We do have time. <laughs> All right. I hope you have a great one. Take care. Bye.